So I've been very, very busy over the last little while building this, an ATAR calculator. So you've used these before. You put your subjects in, you put the scores you think you're going to get, and it spits out an ATAR. It looks like that. So if you want to use it, go into the description. There's a link down there. You can click it, download it, and you can play with it as much as you like. But that's not what this video is about. I want to talk about subjects and how they scale, because while I've been building this, I've had to look at scaling a lot. And what I find is that there's a lot of misinformation and different ideas about scaling, so I wanted to put my two cents in, let you know what I think. All right, so in order for me to create that calculator, I had to go to the ATAR report and grab all of this data. And uh, let me show you what I did just for one subject. So let's take accounting, zoom in on that. Now, once I had accounting's data, right, raw score of 59 translates to a scaled score of 61.5. What I did was take a graph that looks like this and plot those on the graph, right? And then once that's plotted, I create this nice, what we call a logistic curve based upon those points. That's what we believe happens with all of this scaling. It looks roughly like that. And so what did I do once I had that one for accounting? Well, you bet I did all of them, every single subject that we do, or at least that they give scaling data for. Now, if you click the link in the description, you can have this graph as well, and you can play with it. So there's a lot of ideas about scaling that I think are just wrong. I hear people say things like, this subject scales up, and this subject scales down, and this subject scales up, and, and it's I don't like it. There's something wrong with it. So I wanted to demonstrate why I think this language is wrong, this up and down language, by playing a little bit of a game. All right, so it is a game of would you rather. So let's take a look at our first round of would you rather. And we have three questions. Would you rather get a raw score of 90 in biology, business, or drama? That's question one. Think about it. Maybe rank them from like one to three. Which one's the best? Which one's the worst? A raw score of 80 in the same subjects or a raw score of 60 in the same subjects. All right, lock in your answers. Think about what you would rather get in these three scenarios. All right, let's take a look. This is our set of scaling graphs for our three subjects, biology, business, and drama. And what I hope you're seeing here is that these curves don't just sit above each other, below each other. They pass through each other and intersect each other, and so we get some interesting things happen. So our first question, a raw score of 90 in biology, business, or drama? Well, what we do is go to 90 and move up our line here, right? Now, biology is above there because its raw score when you're 90 is, is very, very high. Just below that is business, and just below that is drama. So here, I would rather do biology and then I would rather do business, and then I would rather do drama. But what happens when we're in the raw scores of 80? What happens when we go up to there? Well, now business. Now the business line is above biology, and biology is in between business and drama. And then what happens when we get to a score of 60? Well, if we go up through here again, business is well clear now. Business is certainly what I would want to get if I'm going to get a score of 60. But Interestingly, if I'm going to get a score of 60 in any of these three subjects, I'd rather get it in drama than in biology, because biology is scaling the worst out of these three subjects if you're scoring a score of 60. So as you can see, the answer to, well, which one scales up, really depends on what sort of score you think you're going to get in those subjects. If you think you are equally capable of getting a 90 in biology, business, or drama, then I guess do biology. If you think, hang on, I can only really get a 60 if I do any of these subjects, then don't do biology, do business. And as a second choice, do drama. But maybe you'd get 80 in this subject, but you'd only get 60 in that subject. Biology does not scale above all of these subjects across all of these numbers. That's not true. It doesn't scale up compared to business or drama. I hope you get the point. So here's round two with three more subjects. We have a raw score of 95 in physics, modern history, or Vietnamese. Uh, 75 in those subjects, or 70 in those subjects. All right, I think you get the sense of where we're going with this. All right, let's take a look at our graph. Here we are, there's our graph. Now, if you're getting a raw score of 95, you're all the way up here, right? 
physics is that green line, I'd rather be doing physics. Now, I'm not going to zoom right in on this, but I'm going to get you to take my word for it. That blue line is just above that orange line. And the blue line is modern history. So, when I'm thinking raw score of 95, I want to do physics. And then modern history and Vietnamese are almost tied, but modern history is just in front. Now, what happens once we get into the, like, 75s, right? So, 75, a little bit hard to see. There's 75. We come up into here. All of a sudden, Vietnamese takes the clear lead. Vietnamese has jumped from third when we were at 95s up to first when we're at 75s. Now, physics is still above modern history. So, physics is in second place and modern history has dropped to third place. And then I'm just moving just five points over, just from 75 down to 70. Now, all of a sudden, physics, what a fall from grace. They were number one, now they're number three in our list. Vietnamese, now number one, and modern history, back in the second place. Now, it is not unusual to hear people say, physics scales well. Doesn't physics scale well? Well, I guess if you're planning on getting a 95 or if you're planning on getting a 90, but if you are realistically thinking, look, I think I'm going to get a 70, then no, doesn't look that way. Okay, one more. So as a maths teacher, I couldn't go past this. A raw score of 70 in the maths, 40 in the maths, and 25 in the maths. This is amazing, right? So here we have, no surprise, specialist up out in front when we've got like a 70. Here we are at 70. Specialist, methods, and then general. No surprise. Now, admittedly, a raw score of 40 is fairly low, but once we get into the 40s, what's happened? Specialist is now in second place. Methods is in the lead, and general still down the bottom. Now, according to these curves, at least, we have down in the 25s, specialist takes a real tumble, scaling lower than any of the other subjects, and then general, and then methods. Would it be accurate to say that general scales higher than specialist? In certain circumstances, I believe the answer is yes. So why did I want to make this video? I really want this whole language of this subject scales up and this subject scales down. It, I don't think it's useful language and I don't think it's accurate language. I think what you need to be doing when you're choosing subjects is making an informed choice based on a whole bunch of this and it's just way more complicated if you are going to consider scaling than just saying this one's up and this one's down. That's, that's not how it works. Okay, um, links in the description. If you want to play with this graph, filter it, do all sorts of things with it, you can. If you want to download the A-type predictor, you can. Um, catch you in the next one.